Progreso Gracias a la Misericordia. This is San Sister Brujo Luis. And I'm doing a video today because I was in a misa espiritual uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, when I asked uh, the people if they had incense so that we can do, you know, purifying or cleansing. And they they got all nervous. They're like, oh my God, we don't have no incense. We got to send somebody, you know, out to the Botanica and, and purchase an incense. And I'm like, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Before anybody goes to the Botanica, what do you have in your kitchen, in your cupboard, in, you know, where you keep your spices? Let me go check. You know, a lot of people wouldn't believe uh, the items that they have that they can use in their kitchen to make an incense for purifying or for cleansing. And many of these items are already in your kitchen. So I'm going to show you a, a spiritual incense that I quickly made that day for a spiritual mass and what you're going to need the first thing you're going to need is a mortar and pestle okay and yeah just a simple mortar and pestle you can have a spoon if you want you need charcoal uh, the, not the kind that you use for barbecuing people these are the charcoal discs that we use to light incense if you can see in there please uh, you're going to need a metal container to burn your incense, okay? Uh, now I'm gonna show you the ingredients that you can use in your kitchen to make uh, a good incense for cleansing and purifying. So the first one we're gonna look at over here is is allspice. Now I got in my in my kitchen, I have my allspice and my nutmegs uh, mixed together. But allspice is good for healing and success. Allspice is these little pebbles right there. That's allspice. The next thing is nutmeg. Sorry, nutmeg right there is good for uh, health and vitality. This is a nutmeg right there. And when you crunch it up or when you when you mash it up, it becomes it's known as mace. So you're gonna need a nutmeg and you're gonna need allspice. The next thing you're also gonna need is cloves. Okay? And cloves are good for protection and exorcism. Another thing that you can have is a star anise. Star anise, let me show you what it looks like. Star anise is good for uh, strength and stability and in here I have a cinnamon stick and cinnamon put it right here and cinnamon is good for spiritual protection and psychic uh, you know spirit you know psychic protection it removes the evil eye and for protection and purification now with this alone you can with these ingredients alone you can make a simple incense if you have camphor, I have two different brands here, but if you have camphor, you can add it to your incense. You don't have to, but I'm going to add a camphor. I always have camphor in my house, and the camphor is good for, uh, for purification and for clarity of the mind. So I'm just going to use one little block of these camphors. I'm going to show you how to make this incense that's very good for spiritual cleansing, uh, for, for purification. And again, you can find these items in your house, in your kitchen. And it's very simple. Uh, you could add as much as you want or as little as you want. Now, the first thing, let me, let me start lighting up the charcoal. Give me one second. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your camp for, um, I'm sorry, not your camp for your charcoal and you're going to light it up. Okay. I'm going to use a candle right here. What I'm just going to do is I'm going to place it by the flame. Okay. Now you've got to make sure that before you put any incense on any charcoal, the complete charcoal has to be completely lit. So you just got to get that sparkling. Give it a second. You can use this or you can use like tongs to get it nice and lit. And what you're going to do is you're going to let um, that fire you can hear it sparkling but what you want is you want to make sure that sorry you want to make sure that that sparkling goes all the way uh from one end to the other and the charcoal is nice and white i'm going to show you what it looks like when it's completely lit here i'm going to blow at it all right. yeah right here you can see the charcoal is lighting up and it's burning up you got to make sure that it's completely burnt before you add any incense 
or and it's complete it's white you want to make sure it's got that nice white color and that it's burning nice and red all the way from here to here so what you do is when that's lit well anyways you're gonna put it aside and now you're gonna make your incense now there's no really certain ingredients uh, Puerto Ricans we just add uh, to the way we like it you can add as much of the ingredients as you want um, just follow my recipe and then you could uh, see how you like it I'm just gonna add a little of this little of that and I'm gonna show you it's a good incense for purifying, for cleansing, uh, especially uh, a gathering, for removing negative vibrations. So I'm going to start showing you how to, I'm going to make my incense. Now to my mortar and pestle, I'm just going to add like a handful of nutmeg. I'm sorry, allspice. Allspice. And this allspice is good for healing and success. So you're going to put it into your mortar and pestle, and you're just going to slowly start mashing it up this is your all your allspice just like that and to this I'm gonna add one whole nutmeg and the nutmeg is good for healing I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing but the nutmeg is good for healing and vitality this one's gonna be a little bit crash it up there you go and I'm just gonna pound it up a little bit and I'm gonna show you what it looks like okay this is what it looks like it start it's already smells really good and what you're gonna add now is your cloves it's around two dozen cloves and cloves is good for uh, protection and exorcism so you're gonna add your cloves there and you're gonna mash it up with it simple like that you can add more or less it depends on how you want it to smell this is a good incense for cleansing purifying a place uh, especially if there's a lot of people after you know that you want to remove negative vibrations for spiritual healing okay so you're gonna add those cloves and the next thing you're gonna add is the star anise I like four of them and this is good for strength and stability so put those in there okay and mash it up get that all nice and powdery after that you're gonna get your cinnamon stick okay and cinnamon is good for spiritual protection so I'm gonna break this down it'd be easier if I break it down with my hand and then crush it up so I'll be right back okay pretty much everything is almost pretty much uh, grounded up and right here right here you already have a really good incense for purificating and cleansing I'm probably gonna chop it up a little bit more but right now you already have a good incense for purification and cleansing this is right there is perfect but if you want you can add if you want you don't have to one camp for and it broke up what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mix this in you don't have to add the camp for but you can this is good for clarity so I'm just gonna mix all these items up and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's done this is a good uh, incense for spiritual masses spiritual gatherings actually it looks pretty good right now but give me one second I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and pop it's chopped up here's the finished product here's your incense and here's your charcoal see how it's nice and white so what you're going to do is you take a little spoon not too much of your purificating incense and you're going to put it on top of the charcoal this right now is good for purifying cleansing removing negative energies oh it smells real good okay and good for cleansing purifying removing unwanted vibrations unwanted negative energies we'll put a little bit more 
on top of that like that, okay? Uh, for cleansing uh, an, uh, an area after people leave or for cleansing people. Whatever you have remainder, you can put away for other uh, spiritual gatherings. If you don't have a container, use a, a sandwich bag. Just write down what it is. Don't throw this away, okay? This, again, you can cleanse your home, your aura. Try a little bit. See if you can handle, you know, the smell of it. Uh, and it smells really good. It smells very musky, uh, very earthy, and very potent. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. And uh, please leave a comment. This is an incense that you can make with ingredients that you find in your kitchen, in your in your, in your kitchen cupboard. Anyways, this is Sancita Blue Luis. Much respects, much honor, Santo Sanse. Here's what's left of my incense, and you can see I made a whole bunch for like a few dollars maybe like two dollars and you're gonna get maybe even less make sure you write down what it's for this is like a purifying you know you can put I buy the bags that have this white strip so I can write down notes on it get a, a sharpie write down what the, the incense is for um, or if you don't find these bags like this you can put it in a, a mason jar or save those jars you know those those spaghetti sauce jars you know save your incenses or or herbs or whatever you may use um but write down what it's for and there you go i like it it's very earthy it's not floral scent it's it's meant to remove negative vibrations and unwanted vibrations so it's very earthy and very potent smelling so just add a little bit to the charcoal don't add too much i hope you like this video this is sancista brujo luis uh, please leave a comment, please subscribe, and please share on your favorite social media and with your friends my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Santo Sanse.